As he prepares for the 78th session of the UN General Assembly, which holds from 19th to 23rd September 2023, President Julius Madabio was invited to give a public lecture at the American University in Washington, D.C. on the topic, Building a Prosperous and Secured Future Through Human Capital Development, the Sierra Leone Example. President Bio is an alma mater of the American University, where he studied in the School of International Services from 1997 to 2002. During the speech, he noted that the best use of life is when it is lived for God and country, adding that success is not only measured by personal achievements, but by positive impact to people and society. President Bio emphasized that the future belongs to those who create it. In Sierra Leone, we are building the future. A new breed of young people who are neither content, apathetic, nor timid. We are building change makers. Our hope for a better tomorrow. I therefore invite all of you to join us and support us in our journey to building a prosperous middle-income country by 2035. He mentioned that the global crisis will not prevent his leadership from the enduring vision to empower young people to realize their full potentials in Africa and avert the action of risking their lives through the journey on the high seas to Europe or America. We can no longer stand idly by as young workforce leaves our shores to searching for greener pastures. We cannot ignore the displacement of our people due to strife or the stifling of our children's futures. It is not enough to be defenders of the status quo. We must become disruptors who strive to lead communities out of the depth of poverty, enabling our youth to rise to global challenges and ensure that every individual has the freedom to dream, choose, and lead a fulfilling life. President Biu upholds that leadership exists to solve problems. He is of the view that progress is not linear, whilst highlighting that challenges give the opportunity to learn, adapt, and grow stronger. It is up to us, especially those at the helm of affairs, to decide the legacy we wish to leave behind. Do we envisage a world of unity, justice, peace, and dignity? Or do we resign ourselves to divisions, disparities, and disenchantments? The intricate web of our global community means that the ripple effects of instability cannot be contained within borders anymore. Unity is not just a moral duty. It is a strategic imperative. The president urged for the need to prioritize relationships and consensus, create a world where the coexistence of different opinions is vibrant and robust. Salifu Charna Kamara, AYV News.